All right, you guys ready? Good morning, everyone. My name is Jalen. This past year, I was very fortunate enough to be a part of the New York Jets flight crew. Hello, Jalen. Hi. I had a lot of thoughts about this, actually. <laughs> I really love my red hair. It was just something different, kind of like stood out from everyone. I just fell in love with it, and everybody else always has liked it, so I've just kept it this way. We've talked about your hair since auditions, and everybody agrees it's too violet. Okay. It's a little severe for this kind of bouquet we call the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. I'd like to see more of a pretty gingery red, an Irish red, something that kind of brightens you up, but doesn't distract from how good of a dancer you are. Thank you. Okay, tell me, Jay, is that, that's a part of the phase, right? And at the corner of my eye, I saw this like orange hair and I turned and it was Jalen. And I was like, oh my gosh, her red has gone wrong. Is that hard phase or final? Because if it's final, we messed up or it's Halloween. Yeah, this is Ooh. color stripper. Okay. We stripped all the violet out. This is what we now need to actually put a new color on to tone the right <laughs> shade we want. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jalen's getting a color correction and it's a lot um, of chemistry. We told her we wanted less extreme and we just <laughs> plugged her in. Gosh. <laughs> it's like very different. It's, it's really still strong. Different. It's strong. Yeah. Feeling really good about the makeover. I do feel like I'm much closer to really owning in that DCC look. She's, oops. I think even on the ground, and even as I was getting up, you know, I still tried to stay in the moment, keep my stage presence performance up so that they could see you know, it was just a little slip on the stage, but you know, it got right back in it. Wow, that was pretty on Jalen. Yeah, it was. She recovered. Tonight, Kelly and I will be announcing our 2018 show group roster. Jalen. <laughs> Kashera. <laughs> Kaylin. Bridget, congratulations. congratulations. We are beginning week seven of training camp. We have 42 ladies and we only have roster spots for 36. I've decided that some of our cuts may not even be dance based because we have a room full of great dancers. How are you? Good to see you. Today's media simulation day. Each of the rookie candidates will do a television interview with Brenda Teal, who's a judge at our auditions and also an anchor woman in Louisiana. Hi, how are you? I am going to put the ladies through some tough questioning today, and there will be some surprises intentionally, and I want to see how they handle them. I'm going to be taking notes and watching behind the scenes while Brenda does the on-camera interview. And then they will also have a radio interview with Mickey Spagnola, who is a longtime Cowboys champion broadcaster, and also Courtney McKenna, a co-host on our podcast called Boots Are Made for Talking. You guys good? Yes. yes. All right, let's give it a shot here. Today can actually be the fate of somebody if they don't seem camera ready. This could be the defining moment. So you're all the way from Indiana. All the way from Indiana. Tell me a little bit about you. I had a pig that lived in my house. You had a pet pig? Amongst, you know, dogs and cats and all of that, but it was a full-grown pig that would run you over in the kitchen. In Texas, we call that breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Y'all feel a little closer to game day? This stadium's different than Ford, and we saw great things, and we saw some things we still need to fix. And we need to see a couple people in my office here at the stadium tonight. I need to see Jaylen and Victoria. If you two can stay and we'll see everybody else Monday. Okay? All right. Good night. You're good. Unfortunately, I heard my name called. So I feel like everybody's immediate reaction is to get upset. So you kind of just have to like dial yourself back in. You never really know what they're going to talk to you about. We want to talk to you about something that the big board revealed to us tonight. Okay. It's your hair color. Okay. The vibrancy of the red is, is a little too much. Okay. We've kind of like, hmm, do we still need to fine tune it? And that's very normal for reds, for red. especially you with having 50 shades of I know, we keep, we keep trying different things. I feel like when I leave the salon, it doesn't look as vibrant. No, it's plenty vibrant. 
But when it see it on the big screen, like the other day in the high neck top. It accentuates it, it does. I don't know what to do with Okay, so it. I've already sent a 911 to Marshall. Okay. So I love the cut, I love the way it swings, we love the way you dance. We want it to be your best because your eyes deserve that. This is fine tuning, this is the fun, the art part of it. Yes, ma'am. Anything else, Jude, from you? Just loosen, loosen up a little bit. You're just. Yes, ma'am. A little stiff still. Okay. I will loosen up. <laughs> Take a breath. <laughs> okay. You're a good dancer. Just entertain. Show fun. All you have. 80,000 people. <laughs> we're going to entertain you. You know all what? Of they're them. so much easier to perform for than us <laughs> in an empty stadium. I would never say that out loud, but I think that's a true statement. No, we know that. Okay. All right. All right. I'll see you guys. All right. Next week. Good night. Thank you. Good night. I was definitely a little worried. I kept telling myself, I was like, you're not a pretty crier, so you cannot cry right now. They are kind of wanting just to fine tune my hair color. It's nice knowing that they're in our corner and they really want everybody to look their best on game day. Once I already knew it was just about my hair, I was still like, <laughs> she was like, exhale. <laughs> you're like, oh yeah. <sighs> We've invited Charlotte to come back tonight and address the ladies, and it's extremely meaningful that she's involved and supports the process. Hi, ladies. It's been 10 weeks since we were here and announced you all as training camp finalists. I don't know that I remember as talented a group that we have had through the entire audition process. I mean, our players are going through cuts right now. It's no different than all of you. And this has been an incredibly tough process for these two ladies. I know they are very proud of you, but uh, I am as well, for wanting to be a part of the Dallas Cowboys and all that we represent. So take a look around at the women that you're sitting by and the women whose hands you are holding. Because ladies, it's official. You are the 2018 <laughs> squad for the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. morning with an eye infection. Does she really? Jaylen! Oh shoot. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. It's, it's like burning. I think there's something in my eye. Lauren's looked and she said the whole inside of my lid is all swollen. Well yeah, if y'all been all in there under the hood. <laughs> we'll get you to our doctor to see because he may have eye drops with him. Okay. I mean I feel fine other than my eye just won't stop watering and burning. Jaylen's eye is clearly irritated. I don't think in Jaylen's mind not dancing is um, an option right now. One of two things, an, infe an eye infection that eye drops will fix. Okay. Or pink eye. Okay. Said from the daughter of an eye doctor. <laughs> well, my eye, I woke up this morning um, and it's been a little irritated and burning and as you can tell, it's getting a little worse right now. But I just finished rehearsal with like half vision in one eye right now. And it's not really how I wanted to start the morning, but you know, we're here, everybody's super excited and I'm ready to get the game started. Things happen at the last minute, and today's proof of that. We hope she can get through our pregame performance at least, but we're gonna have to make the decision at game time whether she does the entire game. Well, that said, that was Cowboys. <laughs> Unfortunately, Kashira's group may have one pulled out. That changes all of their formations, all of their counts, and they have to be able to do that tonight. Jaylen, let's see. It's better? It does feel better after the eyes. <laughs> Swelling went down a little bit. Let's see how you feel after pregame. Yes, ma'am. Nothing's gonna take this day away from me. I could do these dances with my eyes closed. Hopefully, it will not look too crazy while I'm out there today. We're going to go through pregame with Jalen in it, and then afterwards, we're gonna go find her and see how she feels. If it doesn't look good and she's feeling bad, then we're gonna pull her from the game. And Kashira's group will just have to make that adjustment as they're out there. Nothing's stopping me now. You know, all this time during training camp, this is what we've been looking forward to and getting ready for, and here it is. You don't need two eyes to dance. You know, they may need two eyes to catch a football right now, but I can deal without this one right now. <laughs> uh, you can call this my Rocky moment. <laughs> so First, the ladies will be doing our signature dance and kick line. So at a football game, this is the first entertainment moment that happens. So, 
Judy has the names of those that we're picking for Showgroup tonight. Our first person on Showgroup this year is Daphne. Tess. Kelsey. Victoria. Ashley. Amanda. Caroline. And our last on show group is Rachel A. Congratulations, you guys. We're going to do a pink and blue and start regular rehearsal. Did Jalen just go back to the locker room? Yep. I think probably the biggest disappointment was Jalen during show group announcements. She got up and kind of made a beeline for the locker room. But we've got too many other people that are in this where we don't need to chase somebody down. Jalen? I'm calling Jalen into the office. Jalen was upset from not making show group and walked out of rehearsals. Hello. How are you tonight? Good. Did we get past last night? Yes, ma'am. Last night, I tried to kind of give you the benefit of the doubt that you needed to process and decompress. But to stay inside the locker room while we were starting to start the routine is frankly unprofessional. Yes, ma'am. If you let this really crawl in your head, then I think we've got a problem. Last night, I was more um, concerned, like, if y'all thought I had gotten worse, and then I was upset, like, if I had done something outside of a show group audition, I just didn't want you guys to think any less of me. I was, like, more worried that my uniform was in jeopardy. Well, I appreciate that, because your uniform is valuable, and it's not a shoe in for anybody, you know. Yes, ma'am. Only you know if you've still got the energy, the passion, and the enthusiasm, but I hope you do. I definitely have have it in me. Okay, good. Keep then maybe you just more. let this be a, a moment to dial up. Yes, ma'am. And appreciate. Okay. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good night. Good night. I that went as well as it could go. I do. That was scary as a veteran. You're always wondering, you know, what are they thinking? Maybe they didn't put me on show group because they don't even know if they're going to give me a uniform back this year. My goal now is just to keep up in the game, just hoping that I can put those boots on again and, you know, be back out on the turf. We usually pick 16 members of our team to make up our show group. So they will do all of the television appearances, the concert performances, the corporate live event performances. I would be lying if I said that everyone in this building doesn't want to be on show group. Jalen made show group her rookie year and was very disappointed when she didn't make it her second and then she didn't make it her third year. Did Jalen just go back to the locker room? Yep. To stay inside the locker room when we were starting to start the routine is frankly unprofessional. Yes, ma'am. Jalen, she's really wanting to prove to us tonight that she has what it takes to be on our show group. Jalen is doing a really good job with Denise's choreography, keeping it clean and articulate. Here's how good Jalen is. I didn't even notice that she lost her shoe. And that's the sign of a true performer. It's show business, and you got to keep going. You got to do what you got to do in that moment and finish the routine. <laughs> I've never even saw her too. No. She come off. A little hard to answer a sock, in tights, on concrete, but we did it. We <laughs> picked we up the prop at the end. Power through. <laughs> Show group is a group of girls that Judy and Kelly really trust to be um, on extra shows, appearances, to travel across the U.S. So it is a really important part of the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. I'm always mixed about announcing the show group because I know there's going to be some disappointed ladies because they've worked so hard for this. Good evening. We have chosen to make this a little more formal because it's a renewed celebration for us. Our show group responsibility has grown from USO Tours to now the group that represents us on national media shows, concerts, the list goes on. 
but such a broad job and Judy and I feel really good about the decisions that we made with our judges. So having said that, in DCC tradition, Judy is going to announce the 2021 show group members. Okay, your first show group member is Gina. Rachel. Claire. Amber. Jalen. I think saying excited would be an understatement at this moment, but I'm kind of taking it all in. Jalen, you were a unanimous choice this year. It does feel really good to know that hard work and perseverance um, does pay off. Group leaders are very important to our game day procedures. They are like the quarterbacks of our team. They make the calls. Group four, your first leader is Caroline. Yeah! Caroline's second leader is Jalen. Yeah! Group four, 